Hi, this is PDF Bergzerk Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and this is tutorial 243. We're still in the changing room and this is part I. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up our, our project. And where we left off, we uh, have our character coming up. And I moved the camera in and we have the ability to change the hair. And I told you ahead of time to go in and make sure that um, the hair is being centered right. And if we take this off of full screen, I guess I should have showed you this last time, but uh, let's go over to the game. We'll take off Maximize on Play. We'll start it up. And you can go over to the scene, actually look at your character. And we'll go back to the game. We'll change the hair a bit. Whoops, I went to one I haven't fixed. And if you go back into the scene, you can actually just take a look at it. Uh, you can actually click on it. Zoom in. Now this works for all meshes that you're adding to your character, not just hair. So uh, if you're adding like shoulder pads or something to your character, the same same way is uh, is going to be used. Uh, as you can see, it's not centered right, and there, it might actually need to be uh, scaled a little bit differently. Uh, but anyway, like I said, go back and look at those tutorials. I'll show you how to do that. This one here, uh, we're actually going to go ahead and create our little rotation buttons. And I did this through uh, actual 3D game objects that I put in the scene. Uh, so let's go ahead and add a couple of them. So I'm going to go ahead and add a cube. And actually, I noticed I already have a cube in there. And I believe this one was the floor. Let me just look. Yes, it was. So I'm going to quickly rename that just so I know what one that is. All right, so we got this other cube here. Uh, let's see, where is that in relation to my character? Uh, right on top of his head. Okay, well, I'm just going to move it over here. I'm going to double it and move this one over here. And I'm just going to call this, you know, cube L for the left. And cube R for the right, just so I know exactly what they are. And let's see, make sure they both show up on screen. Uh, obviously not centered nicely or perfectly go ahead and look at the uh, the demo I have online I've gone ahead and actually made some uh, well I didn't actually make them. I used the uh, pro games arrows from the proto pack and I've actually put them into uh, kind of like a pedestal and uh, I think it's a nice effect but um, we're just doing this for demonstration so as long as I can see them I can work with them so uh, we got to attach a script to it and this script had something to do with rotating the player so here it is here, rotate player arrow. And if we actually get rid of the search here, it's in the scripts folder. Um, I didn't actually put it in any folders. I'm actually gonna do that now. So I'm gonna move it over to the character, character customization, since that's uh, the scene I'm using it in. I just, I think it'd be nice to have um, scripts that are only being used in one scene in a scene folder, just uh, help things, help you find things a little bit quicker. But anyway, I'll take this left cube and I'll add that. And I'm going to take the right cube, and I'm going to add that as well. Now, there's really only one property here. If you look, uh, rotate clockwise. And pick one cube that you want to rotate clockwise. Make sure it's checked. Uh, take the other one. Uncheck it. Start it up. And now when you move your mouse over it, it should change color. I guess we could actually expose that property, too, to um, allow people to maybe pick different colors that you want to exchange. Uh, if you actually open up the script, uh, you'll be able to see the color being changed uh, but anyway let's go ahead and uh, click one and he's rotating counterclockwise and depending how you have your arrow set up you might actually want this one to be the clockwise one and this one to be the counterclockwise but as you can see it rotates let's go ahead and switch some hair and of course as you look things uh, it actually really doesn't look that bad to be honest maybe a little bit more scale uh, but let's go ahead and look at the code. Just a uh, quick look to see where you would change the color. And I'm doing it down here. We're starting off at color white. And I'm just switching it to color red if it, the value being passed in is glow. So basically if you want it to change to some other color, here's where you change it. Uh, but anyway, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. It's a quick one. Uh, there wasn't really a whole lot to do. We're just adding a couple elements onto the screen just to rotate our player around. and. That should actually help you uh, center things a little bit better. Uh, personally, I think you're probably better off going into the scene view and clicking on your character. Uh, but anyway, that's it for this tutorial, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.